Hi, this is Dr. Machado. Recently, you have been scheduled to undergo a repair of a flexor tendon injury. Because this surgery requires a multidisciplinary approach, I'm making this special video so you can have more information and be better prepared for your upcoming surgery. Because your surgery will be done here in my office, there is no need for you to see your primary care physician for history and physical examination. Especially, you do not need to be fasting. You can have a breakfast, coffee, or even lunch prior to surgery. When you arrive to my facility, after you've been checked in, I'm going to take you back to the exam room. That is the time that I have to anesthetize your hand. Some patients, they get anxious with needle, but I'm going to inject you very slowly and also using a special technique so your pain will be very minimal most of your palm or your finger will be injected with the anesthesia. We like to wait a good 30 minutes before taking you back to the room. So this medication can be working good and it can be nice and done. In the operating room, once they start the procedure, because you're awake, you can choose the music that you're gonna listen to so you can enjoy it with you. As I start the surgery, we're gonna find the laceration of the tendon and gonna repair that. That is the part, the multidisciplinary approach as I mentioned to you. The first one is the surgeon, which is myself doing your surgery. The second one is going to be you. As I repair the tendon and put them back together, I need you intraoperatively to start moving your fingers. I need to see with my own eyes that the sutures are holding together. They're not being separated apart by the tension. And this is key for your success. That's why you need to be awake during the surgery. Once I have repaired your tendon, I'm going to put a special dressing, sterile dressings, followed by a big splint that's going to keep your hands slightly flexed like that. When I take you back to the recovery room, I'm going to talk to you a few important factors for your post-operative care. Number one, splinting. It is very important that you keep your splint intact. Don't remove it, keep it clean, don't get it wet, put a plastic bag. Number two, elevation. Very important to keep your hands up, okay? Keep it above your heart and put ice in the area. Do not move your fingers until we see you back with our physical therapy. Number three, post-operative pain management. I will provide you some anti-inflammatory medications and some patients may require uh, tramadol or hydrocodone. It is very important that you're gonna be off your narcotics medications up to five days after surgery. Number four, this is the third portion of our multidisciplinary approach which is our hand therapist. You're gonna have an appointment to see them between five to seven days for you to start your recovery physical therapy process. A custom-made splint will be made for your hand and you're gonna start early protective range of motion. Number six, I'm gonna be seeing you about 10 to 14 days after surgery. At that time, I'm gonna check your incision, also remove your sutures, and we're gonna discuss the other process you're gonna need for your recovery. So, I know this might be a very stressful time in your life. A flexor tendon injury requires a lot of commitment, a lot of dedication for all of us, but it is important that we follow through all this process so you can have the best result for your finger. I can guarantee you, I will do my best so you can regain as much motion of your finger as possible. Also, I hope this video could have given you some information to make you feel more comfortable for your upcoming surgery. Especially, I want to say thank you because you chose me as your surgeon uh, to trust me to take care of you. And I will do my best to help you. So I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you very much.